still shaking. Like, that was such a rush. All night last night, everybody's just hanging out over this, just overlooking this like it's a vista. And it is a vista, it's just a different kind yeah. of vista. The straws even look like NASCAR colors. That's racing. That's right. You actually got handles in these guys. Built in handles. I'm gonna Driving through Atlanta in the morning will definitely wake you up. <laughs> Good morning! This is the event that we have been waiting for. This is what we've been telling you was coming. We're so excited to finally be able to share that the event that brought us all the way across the country in, I don't know, three days, 800 we miles We were coming away. across the country anyways. This sped it up by a couple weeks. Absolutely. We are headed to the NASCAR Cup Series Quaker State 400 and camping at a NASCAR event has been a bucket list item for us for a very long time. I will preface this that we are not like avid NASCAR fans, like we don't watch NASCAR all the time. My 87 year old grandfather is a major, major NASCAR fan. So I grew up with NASCAR, um, but not something that we follow regularly. I went to a NASCAR race many years ago and I saw campers there and I thought, this is way before we even started RVing, I said, I want to do that next time. Next time I go to a NASCAR race, I want to do that. This is before we ever even had a thought of purchasing yeah. an RV yeah, or considering it in any way. We love events where there's just a lot of people that come together and are really excited about something. That's, so that's the ticket. That right is there. it right there. Anytime you're at a place where you can be surrounded by like true fans of something, it's yeah. going to be a good time. So this is the culmination wrapping up a week long celebration of our 20th anniversary, which was two days ago. And it started off in Uray, Colorado with an the incredible- Three days ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it started in Uray, Colorado three days ago for an amazing, amazing 4th of July celebration. Uh, we were able to stay with some subscribers, which was fantastic. Thank you so much, Alan and Heather. And that caused us to have to kind of jet across the country very quickly. Yeah, um, we could have started coming across earlier, but I we wanted to be someplace for the fourth. That's right. And man, if you need a location to spend Fourth of July, Uray, Colorado is an incredible oh spot. Oh my gosh! So we that, highly recommend it. The fireworks echoing off like all the canyon walls. My off, goodness! Oh my gosh! The jets flying over in the middle of like the morning parade. It was just fantastic. <laughs> So we were so excited when NASCAR called and invited us to a race that was happening right after our anniversary and it just kind of wrapped up this entire week of celebrating. It's going to be awesome. Man. So we are off to check out this race and we're heading to the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Okay, so wait, one more thing. We are backing our RV up to the racetrack. Exactly. We're going to be able to watch right from our RV. I'm so excited. I know. It's going to be awesome. How are you? 22. 22? And you've been here before? We have no. not. Okay, what we'll do is we'll cruise on down there, show you 22. Okay. 22. Okay. Official stickers. So one goes on the track, one goes on the RV, and these are our passes for each race. So there's two separate races. So one thing of note, 
these spots were made for like class A's to pull in, so all of the hookups are on the wrong side for a travel trailer. So we're gonna have to just run everything under the RV. So we're backing in on the other side of 22, not this side of 22. Uh, okay. So I wanna make sure you know where to park oh, yeah, that part was, that was Yeah, you were going on to the other side. We're Speedway campers. Gosh, look at it! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Lila, look, it's treasure. Are you for real? Hey, right music! Thank you! Oh my gosh, girl! Awesome! <laughs> Thank you! Oh my you. gosh, I like, don't even know where to start or what to say. Uh, I'm gonna start by putting these on. That's <laughs> where I'm gonna start. Are you gonna wear that right now? Uh, yeah. Oh wow. my goodness! This. We're official. Yes. We're we have the garb and we are ready for this event. Oh, is this a speaker? Oh, cool. Wow. I love everything. I love everything. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to say thank y'all and then, you know, this is really exciting for us That's and so it's exciting awesome. for y'all. So, thank you. are going to have a good so weekend. Oh, it's thank you. Good. I didn't know we were going to get anniversary gifts. Hey, like, this is yeah. anniversary. So it's all awesome. Right. It's a <laughs> <laughs> It is perfect. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, okay. you're official. Look at that. The man's on NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> girls have been riding their electric bikes around the outer circle that goes around the track. So much fun. Look at this show. Okay, so we've been here a day already. And yes. I think my favorite thing is nothing to do with racing so far it's just <laughs> been here hanging out with everybody it's just just like just... we talked about at the beginning whenever you're in a place where there's true fans of anything it is yes. so much yeah. fun so come over here so we're right here backed up to this so everybody is just all night last night everybody's just hanging out over this just overlooking this like it's a vista and it is a vista it's just a different kind yeah. of vista it's a man-made version of yeah. like a Grand Canyon or something. It's so much fun. And we've said this before about different places that we've been. We love being in places at night when usually there's big crowds. But A place that's designed it. for people yep. when you can explore it without people. It's so it's, much fun. It's like, really a lot of fun. There's an outer ring that when you're camping, you can walk all the way around the entire yeah. track. It's two miles. Amazing. So we walked it last night at night and it was just so much fun. So this is what we're going to go do soon here tonight. Um, this is the laps for charity. Yep. Um, I'm getting pretty excited about that. <laughs> we're bringing the truck out on the track and it's going to be amazing. Right now we're going to go and get a tour from Erica and Iris. They are our new friends here from NASCAR and we're going to go kind of see where everything's going to happen tomorrow. So let's go check it out. Yeah, yeah, they flew official. all the way in from Charlotte just to like give us a tour. Phenomenal. Yes. <laughs> you look great out there! Woo! Yeah, they were going around the track. So when we first had this imagined, like how it would be to do a NASCAR race as a bucket list event, I thought you'd go camp for a night or two and see a race. See the race. Like you just go see a NASCAR race, right? This is like four days of events for campers that come on site, like all different campgrounds. They have events like tonight, they're having a camper appreciation. So no matter where you're camping on the property, you get to go and do this like pit boss barbecue tonight. Like so much fun. There's playgrounds and bounce houses and like stuff for the kids to do. It's right up Corey's alley. Let's go. Let's go.
got a little bit of barbecue over at the camper appreciation tent and Mark and Trish from Keeper Daydream is here at the campground with us and they are taking their bluebird out onto the racetrack right now. So Corey's gonna go get some shots on the other side. We're gonna jump up on the rig and see him go around the track. This is fun. This is so fun. <laughs> Thank you for attending Laps for Charity and Lanamore Speedway. Your participation in this event benefits Speedway Children's Charity. Hey, uh, don't drop that camera. <laughs> rules of the Speedway are very simple, but we ask that you adhere to these rules to make this a safe and fun event for everyone. This is a cruise. This is not a race. Stay in single file order following the lead of the pace car. There is no passing allowed. The banking of the track is 24 degrees. You do not have to be going a certain speed to remain on the banking. Enjoy the experience on cruising on one of NASCAR's most legendary speed. That is seriously like the movie RV meets Talladega Nights. <laughs> Go on, Second base! Get up! If you ain't first, you're last. Same track that Dale Earnhardt, Bill Elliott, Jimmy John. <laughs> okay, now it's our turn. Yes. Um, I'm not in the RV. Though. I didn't really film myself, but I was up at the finish line in that little crow's nest thing. <laughs> it was an awesome perspective to be right there on the big Gosh. finish line. That was just fun to watch. Some guy told him today that he went 100 in his truck. Well, that's as fast as our truck will go, I think. <laughs> Mark, I don't know how fast he was going, maybe 50 miles an hour? Yep. <laughs> we'll see. All right. the tunnel babe that's kind of cool oh, this is gonna be just awesome so this is the parking that is in the center so there's those are actually like the those are racers the, those are the racers so it's dry camping if you want to stay in the center of the track oh uh, it's just <laughs> yes look at the trucks uh, those are all the haulers that we got we got that time lapse too them yeah. the, that parade of them coming in it's like set at a certain time. You look good out there. Was that the one that was right in front of yes. Trish and Mark? Yeah. That did look awesome. Hey, how are you? Good. Perhaps? Yes. If you want to go around this curve right here, sure. there's a gate right there that'll let you in. Okay. And then they'll direct you and you'll come out here to pit row and then you'll wait till your short turn. Perfect. Thank All you right. so Thank much. You. Bye, have fun. The fact that they are like setting this up and allowing just anybody to come out on the track with whatever vehicle they have like we just saw that I like saw, old hot rod i didn't film it a nissan nv i was just the best <laughs> even motorcycles oh yeah they let motorcycles go on the yeah. track we could get stuck behind some slow people i know we'll so have that to see the, that's the gamble that's the gamble doesn't matter okay so are all these like the pit crew areas Right here? Yeah, these are where the pits are. Are we going? Like, so we're going? Yes! Oh, oh my god!
It's just like, I wish this truck was faster. He literally calls it a race truck all <laughs> the time. He's I like, know it's, it's not a race truck. It's okay, guys. It's a race truck. <laughs> so when we were early married, Corey used to race our Civic Si on a quarter mile track every once in a while, and that was so much fun. Well, it's just fitting because on our first anniversary, we were at a quarter mile track with that Civic. Exactly. In he where? So fun. In North Carolina? In North Carolina. Oh my yep. gosh. So we're coming full circle, our first anniversary together to our 20th 20, anniversary 20 together. Years. Okay. That is one of the funnest things we've ever done in the vehicle. That was, that was so pretty fun. Awesome. I'm trying not to lay on my brakes right here. Um, yeah, I know. You don't want to stop fast. Well, you don't want to stop and keep your brake pedal pushed right. after you've heated them up because that'll warp your rotors. Yeah. So I'm so moving he's like forward every once in a while. Slightly like inching forward. Wow. That was so much fun. And the fact that it is for charity and the fact that you can go do three laps for $50, like what a rush. I, that's the best $50 you can spend. Exactly. exactly. presented by Walmart, who will be the last winner on this track configuration at Old Worn Out Asphalt. We will find out Sunday afternoon. Thanks again for being a part of tonight's Last for Jerry. Have a great race weekend here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Ha. We lived. I'm like still shaking. Like that was such a rush. Like, uh... I don't know if you guys know, but I really love racing things. I like <laughs> being in cars going fast. I like being on jet skis going fast. I yeah. like anything that goes really fast. We were just going fast. And we were going as fast as the truck would go. I the know. truck is limited at 100. <laughs> yes. It's just like 99, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But we did touch like 100. This. Wow. I am. Here, yeah, listen to the vet go by. Listen Ready? to the vet go by. <laughs> He's holding that truck up. I know. Look That's at him. Vet, go fast. It's not a race truck. It's not a race truck. <laughs> Diesel, Duramax. The diesel sounds good. Some of the diesels are probably some of the fastest they things are. on this track. They probably are. Man, the lights are awesome. This is the first time they've had this the lights on. This is the first on. time the lights have been on since we've been here. So like every single night something is new and something changes and I just love night time at events. Oh yeah. Corey's gonna come and meet us. We're getting ready for the Credit Karma Money 250. All right, so the fun zone was amazing this morning. It was so fun to meet some amazing people. You can hear the cars getting ready right now. Corey is down at the pits filming, and I'm back at the RV with the girls, and we're getting ready for the start of the race.
Bush has been close behind Daniel Emmerich the end of this race and it has been so awesome. So we're gonna go catch the end. There was just an accident on the track. So we're gonna go out and see what happens next. sideways and then hit the wall. That's a bummer. He was in first. Yeah. That's what happens though. Revan's racing. That's right. Oh, go, that tape on. He's all beat up. This is Kyle's last Xfinity race. That's Jeff Burton in second, the guy from the barbecue. Really? Okay, that was awesome. Yeah. Um, I learned a lot that race. Since we didn't know a lot about NASCAR before, like now I know for tomorrow what to kind of look for. Sure. This is amazing. Just amazing. So incredible. And very different, may I add, than like watching a race on television. I said that I had grown up watching NASCAR races, but like being here and getting the headsets where you can hear what's happening yes, during the yes. race and like see it all transpire, like, and one thing I didn't realize is that, this is probably obvious to everybody else, but the pace car laps count as laps. I did not I know that either. I did not know that. Go get her, jeez. All right, it's been an amazing day. What I'm most excited about at this NASCAR race is the food. I mean, this in the background, check this out. We got some uh, tomahawk or cowboy cut, depends on where you're from, but check these things out. Okay, so I'm gonna do a reverse sear on these. So I smoked them for about an hour, uh, and then I'm gonna fire up the Blackstone and get the final sear on that. Smoking portion. Finished. Oh my gosh, look at those steaks. Doing a reverse sear, if, if you do it right, you're getting an edge to edge doneness. So whatever you want it done to, if you want it you know, medium and pink in the middle, it will be pink edge to edge. So that's what the, the reverse sear does. I use Kinder, uh, you probably heard me mention Kinder before. It's called the blend. Um, Kinder's the blend. So it's just salt, pepper, and, uh, and garlic. Keep it simple. Um, this is so probably I'm, like one of the coolest backdrops for like a grilling session I was session just saying right that, yeah. Like, what? This is great, but grilling makes it even better. Yeah, which I'm just is gonna, one of our favorite things about traveling is just making our own food wherever we are. Oh, yeah. The idea of RVing to us is putting our RV where we want it, right. where the view is, so we walk out and we're where we want to be. So we're not running around all over the place. So that's, that's where boondocking. That's where boondocking comes in right. really good. Or in this case, backing up to a NASCAR. It's just, we, we mentioned it earlier, this is a, just a whole new vista. I mean, it's not the Grand Canyon. It's just something totally different and amazing in its own respect. And then the big race is tomorrow. It's tomorrow. The events just never stop. They don't stop. Like, I feel like we've done NASCAR and it yeah. still hasn't even Hadn't barely even started. started. Yeah. Like, so fun. I am ready for these things. Uh, Salad is done. Probably three minutes aside once that gets warmed up. I haven't been paying attention to it, so. <laughs> it's been a there's little too, busy. There's, there's too many distractions. There's so many cool people here to talk to. You actually got handles on these guys. Built in handles. I'm going to do the edges. Oh, uh, yes. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Let them rest, probably for 10 minutes. And in theory, it should be good. Oh, uh, yeah, 
That's exactly what we're after. So, you know what? I don't even care if they taste good. They look good. But they're just going to taste good. Right? That's how it works. Exactly. Presentation's everything. The symmetry. Come on. It's oh. a beautiful thing, honey. Yes. Oh, look at these. Wow, love. This is the moment, the moment of truth. Of truth. <laughs> so then you're left with your ribeye. Go right in half with it. Sure. That is huge. I don't know if you can see that, but that is edge to edge pink. pink. The girl's like, it's gorgeous. Can we eat now? <laughs> yes. <gasps> uh oh, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Is your life better now? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so good. Can you? Okay. Please? <laughs> the girls are like, please let us see. Oh my gosh. Done. Here. Here you got to try he's this. He's been waiting. The girls actually are over at the next door neighbor's house. Carson has found a blow up pool and they are all like swimming around and playing in this pool. It's hilarious. Oh my. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh you guys are insane. Why hello? Hi. Okay, so what? I didn't find any glow sticks, but I did find like a floating light. Oh, oh what? <laughs> we can put this underwater? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's go. Morning. It is officially race day. This is the day. We're, we're here. We have arrived. <laughs> we are pumped. I cannot believe the amount of stuff that has happened already and we are finally at the actual like big events. Yeah. And the sun is coming out like Oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. So we have stated that we have had so much fun here and we just didn't realize like how family friendly this was and being able to like have our RV here is just awesome because that's yeah, like because you our can, life. You, you can know? go and sit back, you know? You don't have to stand in one spot and, and, uh, and be confined. Yeah, exactly. You can you carry can, on with life. Yeah, exactly. And we can make our own food. So Corey's got some ribs on today. And the most exciting this part- This is the day I've been waiting for. <laughs> I mean, is. I'm not gonna lie. Those, those tomahawk steaks last night were- He was pretty excited about that. Really, really good, but the ribs and the wings that we're going to smoke today that's what we're i'm pretty excited about I that i feel like that's fitting for today um the thing i'm most excited about is that when you are in these premium campgrounds it comes with extra tickets and you guys know that we have family that lives right outside of atlanta so adding on to our big 20th anniversary celebration and spending this whole week with our family we're bringing an extended family today to watch the race with us and that is like the best part. Yeah, because so we haven't seen them, them in like a year. So I know. this is great. I know, it's so exciting. So they're gonna come and hang out with us today and eat lots of good food and watch the race. And I think there's some festivities starting. So we're gonna go head down into the infield and see I'm, what's going on. I'm pretty excited to see the behind the scenes stuff down there. It's Absolutely. gonna be it's fun. It's All gonna right. be fun. Let's head down to the track. All right. <laughs> It's a totally different view down here. Yeah, that's cool. So our RV is up that way. Kyle Bush, that's who won yesterday. Come on, how awesome is These cars are so incredible. Like, look at the cages and the technology and the carbon fiber, man. I miss our Civic with the carbon fiber hood. Just do. Back in our Fast and Furious days. We did have some Fast and Furious days, guys. So being down in the infield is the stuff that we were really, really looking forward to and it is even cooler than I thought. Like, this yeah. is so much fun to you see all their matching toolboxes and like see you the cars inside. everybody inside. testing their stuff out. I know, I know. You can like feel like the excitement of the race getting started. So, this is amazing. Okay, so I'm really looking forward to capturing a pit when they come down here during the race. These guys are insane. Like watching them work on television is crazy. I can't imagine what it's gonna be like to see them like 
in action in real life. But look down this line. This is what the drivers are seeing. All the numbers coming down. It's awesome to stand here knowing that in just an hour or two, they're gonna be going 200 miles an hour. One other tip, if you're ever down here, do not walk on that paint. Don't do it guys, don't do the things that Corey don't does. Don't ask me how I know you're not supposed to walk on the paint. All right, so another amazing event that they have here before the race on Sunday is a concert. So country music artist Breland is here and just another thing that our teenagers are pretty excited about yeah, they're at like, this NASCAR let's, let's just go to the concert. Come on, let's go to the concert. So we're gonna check out Breland. It just started. I consider my music to be cross country, as I said earlier, it's a kind of a combination of country and all the other genres, but. show you guys something that's not out yet. Y'all will be the first people to It's called Praise the Lord featuring Thomas Rhett. And um, it's a lot of fun and it's Sunday. So can we go to church real quick? We lost the girls at the concert with yep. her cousin. Yep. So this we're... is a new experience. This is the pedestrian tunnel. New tunnel. Like yeah. Oh, so echoey. <laughs> I've heard that Chase Elliott has never won a race here in Atlanta. So that's who we're going to cheer for. You're good side, right? <laughs> Wait a minute. we got to get that on film. That's filmed. <laughs> You've done some modeling before, right? Never. That's just natural. I mean... It's natural. <laughs> that was awesome. Just as Jess was walking up to the truck, there was a wreck and I was able to catch it in the in the big truck oh screen. Oh my god. It was right in front of our RV though, <laughs> but I mean That's the second wreck in two days that happened right in front of the RV that you can't we be were filming not everything, but so true. at least we got it on the jumbotron. Yeah, exactly. So we gotta go back, we gotta do some recharging. We have more family that we up. haven't seen yet that's up there, so and uh, we gotta check on those ribs. I have, I forgot all about those ribs. I was like, hey, uh, honey, you looking at what time it is? How are those uh, ribs doing? So that's when you know it's important. If barbecue's like, whatever. Who cares about barbecue? Exactly. We're watching NASCAR. <laughs> go, go, okay. go. This is NASCAR. Go, go, go. Fast, fast, fast. Look at these guys. Yep. Look at they this have camera. these set up. Okay, so we are doing we're, we're pitting. We ourselves. <laughs> we need a pit stop. We're in the middle of a pit right now. We need some refueling. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some new tires. I may actually be putting sneakers on. Oh, yes. It's there plausible. You yes. Thank That's you right. Your service. Where'd you serve? Uh, Navy in uh, Norfolk, Virginia. Oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> USS Monterey. There you go. I was Army, so. Okay. You, that's right. We my my, my younger brother's Army. Yep. Oh, okay. He's in Fort Bragg. Oh, okay. Well, that's where I was. Two five awesome. four. We're friends now. Yes, we're good. <laughs> okay. We're very well. We're good because you serve uh, more than most people. Oh, thank you, sir. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you so much. We'll be back again. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, I love this flag at the top of the campground. Oh, so yes. Cool. Um, I'm going to throw some Southern in here and say you all need to come to a NASCAR race. Y'all. We aren't even huge NASCAR fans. The whole event is just so much fun. So Everybody much fun. is so nice. Oh, it's going to get loud. Coolest people ever. We're sitting and talking in the pits with, you know, the, the fire... Um, what is yeah, the, the guy in title? charge of putting the fires out. Yeah, so I don't I don't remember what his title is, but like David, like that was awesome. He was incredible explaining like how it all works. He's ex-military and now he works for NASCAR part-time. Like, what a cool job. He's a firefighter. And so they hire firefighters and put them on the pit crews. So much to learn. Okay, I love let's it. go see the rest of your family. All right. Okay, we gotta talk in here because you cannot hear anything out Nothing. there. Nothing. I, I did not ruin the ribs. I probably should have wrapped them earlier, but they're not ruined. Nope. Uh, they're gonna so be that's delicious. good. And the best thing is, uh, my cousin here, Carson, got the wreck. Yes! Way to so, go, Carson, for the film. That's so, amazing. All credit goes to Carson Rose. Carson Rose. All right, we got a little noise break. Uh, I guess some of the track has come up. Um, so they actually stopped on the other side. They've been stopped there for a few minutes now. They have to repair the track. I don't know if we've mentioned that this is the last race on this track before they they narrow it and add some more angle to the, the bank. It's gonna go from 24 degrees to 28 degrees. So this is the very last race on this track for reasons such as that. It's, uh, it's starting to get old. We're going again. Just let up. It's the best part. Bush just beat his brother on the racetrack and we're waiting for him to come into victory Who's lane. I don't know. I think Kurt is the little brother, but we need to check on that. No, he's the older one. Oh, he is the older? Yeah. Quaker State 400. Uh -huh. Brother. 
brothers. <laughs> They break this whole thing down in like five minutes. I just said how crazy it is. How this was all through. set up like crazy a minute ago. We're about ready to watch the haulers take off. Those guys are, they're ready to go. Yeah, they're done. Thank you so much to NASCAR for making this week of celebration just yes. so much we fun. We started our anniversary celebration, kind of a few days. We spent about a week with it. Um, July 4th in Uray, Colorado, and here we are in Atlanta, Georgia at a NASCAR race. I can't ask for a better celebration. No, oh, it's been 20 amazing. years. <laughs> I, I would never have thought 20 years ago that this is where we'd be, you know. It's amazing. Yeah. We love it. It's pretty incredible. Okay, so there was one more crash at the Speedway last <laughs> night. Um, just outside turn four, uh, the kids, the kids they got a into a, collision. a little wreck last night. Me filming with my broken phone. Well, but I'm, it's cracked. I'm just well, I'm just glad there wasn't a police officer around because I think you would have got a ticket for failure to stop. Uh, I think you would have oh gotten a ticket you for falling off know. your board <laughs> and then tripping me. Treaties have been made. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so next week we are picking back up where we were in our regular YouTube timeline in season five. We're going to be in Montana and we can't wait to show you all the fun stuff that we did there. And then season six is coming up in just a few episodes and that is going to bring you into summer of 21. I know it's crazy guys, but I promise we are we're almost, we're there. almost there. So thanks again, NASCAR. We'll see you soon.